All right, well, he is the Dinky Die rock star who burst onto the scene in 1994 with his schoolboy mates in Silverchair, who sold 8 million albums and won a record 21 ARIA awards. Then, after a couple of side projects and several health issues, including arthritis, Daniel pretty much disappeared from view. But now he's back with a new solo album called Talk. And that's exactly what I got to do with the uber talented Daniel Johns. We got this Yes, he's back doing what he does best, but not before giving us a bit of a scare, taking a tumble in a Sydney cocktail bar. You had us worried last weekend. Are you okay after what Yeah, I was, I was fine. It was uh, just a, one of those dumb kind of falls. Not like a real event, but I was in hospital for like half an hour just to make sure I didn't do any damage and then I was out. You know, you've had your health concerns over the years with bits and pieces. How are you? You, you, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I've never been, um, never been healthier. I feel, feel really good. And I guess having the record done is, like you said, it's just like... It feels like I've been sighing for the last <laughs> like, two or three months, I think. <laughs> so what's the feeling like now when you've got a killer album, you know, just waiting in the wings, ready to be released? It must be, you must feel so charged and excited, do you? Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Traditionally, you don't like this part of the process. It's not about being famous for me. If, if anything, I'd prefer to... If there was a way of selling enough records where I could do whatever I want for the rest of my life and never be recognised on the street, that would be my ideal wonderland. <laughs> it sort of goes with the territory, I guess, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm learning, learning that. You can't have one without the other. I guess Sia kind of came up with a pretty, pretty nice solution. Yeah, I think poor Sia, though. I mean, she, she suffers badly from, from nerves. I mean, she's really anxious a lot, isn't she? I think a lot of artists maybe don't talk about it, but probably have that. Like, there's something, something about the need to create art that must come from some desperate insecurity or anxiety or something weird. Do you understand the public kind of fascination with you? No. No, I really don't. It's like embarrassing. I think maybe the child star thing might have something to do with it. You're a star when you're 15, for heaven's sake. I think that's why people either kind of really like what I do or really don't like what I do. You're a fascinating guy. I mean, who is Daniel Johns when he's not out front doing this stuff? What do you do? What if I knew that, I probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any idea who I am. You don't have any idea who you are? I don't think so. I'm just, like, I find, I find out who I am um, with everyone else when I release or when I finish a track. Pretty much exclusively if I'm writing a song, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm writing it about until maybe a couple of months later and people ask what it's about and I have to analyse it and go, oh, yeah, maybe it's about... It always kind of, I can piece it together down the line, but at the time it's just like, just vomiting stuff. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're pretty much in relationships mo most of the time, it seems. I mean, do the best songs and the best lyrics, in hindsight probably, come from, you know, the happy good times or the, the not so good times? No, that's a good question. I can never really w write that well if I'm going through a particularly dark time or if I'm going through a particularly good time. It's like when everything starts to become a bit like a washing machine and you don't really know what's happening because it's all available. That's when I think I write my best. My best songs come from confusion, basically. <laughs> the songs on a solo record sound far from confused. And in part two of our interview, Daniel also seems pretty clear on where he stands on reforming the old band and much, much more. He is a fascinating guy and this new album is just fantastic. Daniel's solo album, Talk, is out today.